Hey friends, welcome to the vlog. So in today's video, we are going to be decorating the dining room table and getting you all cut up with some of the changes that I've made here in the dining room just to freshen things up just a little bit. Now, spoiler alert, we are not quite done with the room table. Uh, I was going to wait to put this video out, but we already behind for reasons that we'll talk about once we get into decorating. So I said, you know what? We're going to keep the party going. We're going to share it with the people just in case you guys have some feedback or you can be inspired. Uh, if you haven't yet, put your tablescape out for Christmas. <laughs> All right. So I want to share a few items that I got with you. I'll talk through whatever I got in the video. If I can link to it, it'll be down in the description. We're kind of late in the game, but we'll try. We will try. And if it's not linked in the description, it'll be linked on my LTK page as well. I'm really excited to be back being creative for you guys. It's been a long month, but we here, we ready, and we are ready to get this Christmas party started. So let's hop into today's video. So before we get started actually decorating, I want to show you all of the really pretty pieces that I picked out. So table decoration is something that I've been working on. Uh, it's not always been something that I loved, but we got this big open space child. We got to have something in here. And I have been going round and round and round and round with this dining room and for Christmas, I knew I wanted it to be really pretty and I needed to get it together. So first thing, if you were here last year, you saw this, um, what is this? Placemat. Ah, you saw this placemat. And you see how well that goes with the tree behind me? I know I hadn't showed you the tree yet. We're going to get there. But she's really pretty. I loved her. Last year she was on my bar, but I got some new chairs here for the table that I hadn't got a chance to scotch guard yet. So the kids are sitting at the island, so the island ain't decorated. But I really used this as the focal point and kind of like the grounding point for the table to pick everything else. So placemats are here. And then following the placemats, I found these really pretty, let me see if you can see this. This really pretty plateware from at home. It's trimmed with gold. I don't know if you if the camera is gonna do that justice. That light might be throwing us off. But this was really pretty, and I thought it would go really, really pretty with the chargers that I also had from last year. These chargers came from Hobby Lobby. I picked up a couple of more of them because the table is a table of six now. And I thought together, this would be really pretty. And it actually came out really, really pretty. I've already put the table together. I'm just doing it with you because I didn't get a chance to show you. Now I was only able to find four of those dinner plates from, um, home goods so what I did instead was on the ends of the table we'll flank it with just this plate that has kind of like this texture on it I was concerned this wasn't going to work at first but this actually came out better than I expected I'll show it to you until I can find these others while I was shopping I was telling Tim that as a little girl, I think I'm so like gung-ho Christmas because my grandmothers on both sides, my mom's side and my dad's side were like Christmas crazy. So immediately for Christmas, my grandmothers would put out all of their decorations. And I remember as a little girl, like when you're shopping for your own Christmas decorations, I don't know if it happens to you, but for me, like the nostalgia of my childhood comes back. And I remember doing stuff like polishing flatware because we hosted Christmas at my grandmother's house and my grandmother had like this formal flatware in China that she would only bring out for the holidays and I used to have to polish that flatware now 
I didn't like it then, but as an adult now, I appreciate the idea of having those pieces that are only used for special occasions. And y'all know like those china cabinets and stuff like that, that was their function back in the day to house all of the beautiful china, all of the beautiful glassware, all of the beautiful flatware until it was time to use it. And I'm really thinking about bringing that back into my own home. There's a company that I found, a furniture store that I found, I'll tell you about those uh, in another video, that has this really beautiful china cabinet that I'm thinking about bringing. It's not antique or anything like that. I'm just thinking about bringing it into the space so that I can start to incorporate some of those practices. I think I wanna have, see like we got this glassware. Can you see this? Yeah. And it's so pretty, but after the holidays, I'm gonna put it in a box and store it somewhere, but this could be out, you know, in like a china cabinet somewhere on display until it's time to use it. So I don't know, what do you do? What do you think about that? I know it's kind of old folkish, but it's just one of those things. Look how pretty that is. Ah, this too is gold rimmed. Um, and it's gonna go on the table. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Ooh, I love it. All right, so I also found these in the little Target dollar spot. These little Christmas trees. You might be thinking, Kay, what the heck are you gonna do with those? I'm gonna show you, girl. I'm gonna show you, and I got two different types. I found these really pretty green ones. And like the theme in here is kind of blue and green. So I thought this would be a really pretty addition. Now I know y'all have seen these all over the internet, but yes, I got them. These are the ornament candles from Target. So pretty. Now this is just for decoration. I probably will never burn this candle just because it's so pretty. Um, and then I just added a little blue ribbon on here to accentuate it while it's on the table. And then our napkins, our napkins that I also had from last year, um, we're just gonna fold them up in a bow. Something like this to display them on top of our dishes. So these I got last year, they so but you won't see the wrinkles. <laughs> the, when I do the B-rolls, you'll be able to see these better. I think I got these last year from Home Goods too. Most of the stuff that I have here, with the exception of the dishes and um, these little trees, I've had all this stuff from last year. We're gonna pull these back out, these candlestick holders. We got these brass candlestick holders, just a bunch of pretty stuff. A bunch of pretty stuff. For what I can link, they're still in stock if you're interested. I will put it down in the description below. I think I've linked most of this stuff in my LTK shop, but I wanted to show you close-ups of those because I'm just gonna decorate and do some voiceovers um, while we're putting this all together just chit chat so we can get caught up. So that's the cuteness. Um, I've got a really pretty centerpiece as well. You'll see that when we put it on the table. So let's hop into putting this all together and see what it looks like. All right, so before we get started decorating, let me just say, or take a minute to say thank you to everybody that has checked on me uh, in the past month. So. Last month we had a really bad car accident, or I had a really bad car accident. Somebody slammed into me coming home from out of town, which took me out pretty bad. But you guys have been so supportive. Um, I've gotten so many DMs, so many text messages. I've been fine for a couple of weeks. I've just been getting myself mentally and emotionally back to a good spot, which is why you haven't seen me. But I just wanted to let you know that even though I'm not here, just the pure fact that you guys think enough to, you know, even DM me and say, hey, hope everything is going okay. You know, we know it's Christmas, it's your time, like where you at, sis? And then when I tell you what's going on, you know, you pray for me and kind of support me. That truly means a lot and I really appreciate you. So, 
you know, I know I'm folding napkins and putting all the pretty stuff on the table and stuff. I just wanted to say how much I appreciated you through this season and how much that meant to me. So I'm going to be quiet and let you just watch me decorate. And then we'll come back at the end when everything is done for a quick wrap up. Thanks, friend. Alright friends, so that's going to be a wrap for today's video. The only thing we're missing is the flatware and I am going to have to get with my mom to see if she still has my grandmother's because I'd like to take a look at it and see how it would work. If it works, then it gets added to the table. If it doesn't, then I'll continue my hunt for a formal set of flatware that can be used. Probably not for this year for Christmas, but for any formal occasion that we have. It's been so much fun decorating with you guys today and I can't wait to share in our next video our full house tour of everything that we've got going on because while I hadn't been able to record I was not going to give up on making sure Christmas got done and there's tons to see so thanks again for tuning in to today's episode and I'll see you in the next video bye now